Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Yuck Yuck special presentation. Please welcome Richard Lack in Sober But Never Clean. I'm an alcoholic, my name is Rick. Because I'm kind of sick, but not the kind of sick the kids say that means you're really cool. Not the kind of sick our moms kept us home from school. I'm the kind of sick that makes me hate myself. The kind of sick that puts God up in the shelf. The kind of sick that says there's no hope. The kind of sick that says I should do more dope. Yep, I'm an alky. Only one thing I can do: get myself a program, and that'll see me through. Got to get to meetings. Got to do my steps. Got to get myself a sponsor. Better get myself a home group, or soon I will be gone, sir. Yep, I'm an alky. Only one thing I can do: get myself a program, and that'll see me through. You see, I'm one drink away from a nasty, deadly bender. That's what's in store for me without absolute surrender, which really is not tough once you finally tried. All it means is switching over to the winning side. Sure did suck when to the bottom I was sinking and wishing I could die was all that I was thinking. Thank God I remembered that in your darkest hour, you can make it through by reaching out to your higher power. Oh. Yep. <laughs> I'm an Elkie, but this is what I do. I stick close to my program and be of service to you. In October 2009, I saw a man die. It's a gang shooting, a murder in the middle of Camby Street in Vancouver. Although I didn't see the shooters, I saw the man die, his soul leaving his body. I invited darkness in, and in it came. For the next three months, all I remember is dark. This was Vancouver in late fall, so it was pretty dark. <laughs> there must have been some light. I don't remember any. Around this time, my drinking had escalated. I ran out of money, and booze, and friends all at the same time. Not a coincidence. <laughs> withdrawal from alcohol is the most dangerous form of chemical withdrawal there is. Many people die from it. Strokes, heart attacks, seizures, and hallucinations. But hallucinations aren't just seeing things that aren't there, like gang members in my backyard, but <laughs> believing things that aren't true. By the end of November, I came to believe that the gang's after me. So I went on the run, believing the only safe place for me was in a moving vehicle. But gangs that don't exist are the scariest gangs of all. Because <laughs> they're everywhere. <laughs> everywhere I stopped, there was a gang member disguised as a Tim Hortons girl or <laughs> gas pump jockey, whatever. So I kept going. I drove 6,000 kilometers in the month of December 2009 to get from Kitsilano to Mission. It's about a 45-minute drive. <laughs> Definitely the long way. God bless you.